friends. Hey family, como estas bienvenidos? It's your girl, back with another video. Although when I sing like that, I'm just happy you guys. It's just, I don't know. You check out my other videos, that's what the intro is, okay? I haven't like coined a intro yet, but that's what I'm feeling right now because the fam is here. The tribe is live. Thanks so much for watching. It's your girl, Melissa Q. And we are getting into favorites. Yes, October is usually one of my favorite favorites months. <laughs> I had to make sure I said that, so I went with you know how many people, how many peppers did people? I don't know. Anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. I am so excited. I have quite a few things because we're going to talk about fashion. We're going to talk about makeup. We're going to talk about make. Uh, let's see, skincare, hair care. We got a lot to talk about. Let's jump right into the video. Of course, I'm going to put timestamps down below because, girl, I can be chit-chatty. But I feel like I would rather give you the full deal where you can go and then you can come back to this video than to just give you like, oh, oh my God, this is so wonderful and amazing. And not really give you like the the, the when, who, why, where, why, and how. Well, like favorites videos are kind of like mini reviews. So that's the reason why I want to give you guys like the real deal you know about it let's jump into it we're gonna start off with fashion because it's a what I have on because y'all help me <laughs> you help me choose my makeup my my jewelry my lip gloss all of those things which have been favorites um, some of them are new favorites but today you guys I told you I was pre-filming I wanted to get some thoughts and you guys help me out and hello yes you got me looking good it's your fault i'm loving my makeup so we're gonna go through what's on my face which i will link everything down below and we're starting off with fashion so the first thing that i am loving is this jacket it is a leather jacket from forever 21 i got this years ago but they usually restock their leather jackets and i love it literally i paid under $30 for this jacket but I love it so much and I love that it is a double breasted but the lapel actually you can open it up I have on a white tee you guys if you want to level up your look all you got to do is change your outerwear you know you can level up your look okay another way to level up your look is jewelry you guys help me out with this but I also have a jewelry brand called the Queen's Vault yes and so these this set is five dollars shut the front door i know i know but i will leave a link down below you can shop hopefully this will be there if not there are some other great pieces you guys helped me pick it out and y'all was like three three we were on the youtube live i will leave that link up in the i cards as well because you guys were amazing i only planned on being on, the, on there for like 10 minutes i was on there for an hour and 10 minutes okay but you guys were a blast you're amazing if you are new and you're from Tati's review video that I did, welcome. I hope you guys hit the notification bell. A lot of you guys did tell me you subscribed, so thank you, girl. But hit the notification. It will let you know when a video drops. And usually my schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And on Sunday, I do Courageous Conversations. Those are conversations that we really don't want to talk about, but we should. Um, a lot of them are Christian-based, but some of them are very general. Anyway, moving on, moving on. Also, this ring is from the Queen's Vault as well, five Zolas. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, get your life, level up your look. Just saying. Because I did straighten my hair. If you looked on Instagram Live, I have some pictures on there. I did a look called, I was trying to re- create a Desi Perkins look of half up half down using clip and extensions when my hair was straight but girl something happened to the footage I do have a video coming up if you hadn't seen it already my hair is great yes it's it was straight dimethicone is not water soluble so you need to go in with a sulfate shampoo now this one is a very moisturizing one that way it did not strip my hair while i was washing the dimethicone and all of those other silicones out of my hair that's pretty much the only time i try to use silicones my hair doesn't really mind it minus the fact that i don't like that cast you know the dry sheet type of feel to the hair i don't like that feeling this 
um, dimethicones. Dimethicones sometimes do that to your hair, but I love this with when it comes to washing it out. I really do enjoy it, and it's a really nice, left my hair super soft. Is it Joico? No, it's the Redken All Soft. The set, um, the shampoo and the conditioner, if I can leave if I have a picture because all of my shampoo products are all of my hair care products are up in a shelf I totally forgot about that but I love the the Redken all soft learn from learned about that product from Kiko Beauty I'm just saying those are really good for relaxed hair for heat styling hair if you need to soften the hair it's really really good if you have like like coarse brassy type of hair Redken all soft Thank me later. I'm just saying. So sorry, you guys. Let's see. I think that's better. Okay. Sorry. I'm just adjusting as I go. This is how. This is the game, y'all. Unpopular product that is popular in my book. This is from Lovecraft Beauty. I got this in a Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I really do enjoy this. This is a trio of bronzers. Okay. This is really good for a makeup kit. But I really, really do enjoy this. This is a product that you could bronze with, but you could also pop on your lid as an eyeshadow. But I like the three different types because Atia, I could actually use as a contour. Um, this is the bronzer that I do have on today. I do have on a cream bronzer from this, which I have talked about before. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette number 40. You have a highlight, a contour, a shimmer, and a color. Now, the reason why they call this a color because you can use this as a blush or a color corrector. If you are a brown skin girl or like a, a deep, deep tone, you can definitely use this as a color corrector. It is amazing. I'm just saying. And also, you have a cream highlighter. You have I, this contour is stunning on my skin tone. And you have a concealer. Or they call this a highlight, okay? This is a highlight. So I actually have blended these two together and made my own custom foundation. This is that Makeup Forever formula. If you like their foundation sticks, if you want something small, compact, and you want your blush, this is a dry skin girl's dreams, especially if you like Makeup Forever, their foundation sticks, which are phenomenal. It's one of my favorites, so I love it. This is from Mayrond. This is their Contour Highlight Palette. This is their Celebri hd pro so it has every single shade in it but y'all i have made my custom uh, my custom shade of contour my custom shade of foundation i've dipped it into this i actually use this um, um i like to use products first before trying it on my clients this is one of those products that you want to take out of the pan and you want to actually mix it on another pan um, so you don't contaminate the products but I really really do enjoy this I want to get this again it's really good I want to say it's on camera ready um, their website but if you don't if you change skin tones from the spring to the fall to the summer to the winter you know all of those not in any particular order but if you want to make your own custom shade or if you know that you're going to be, you know, doing a side hustle with makeup, this is really, really good. I really enjoy it. And although it says a highlight and contour palette, you can mix and make your own custom foundation shade. I really like it. And the formula is amazing. It's like skin. It looks phenomenal. And it lasts all day. Nobody talks about me run though. So that's the reason why I wanted to bring it. It's it's popular for makeup artists, especially high-level makeup artists that are on television, different things like that. But bring it mainstream here on YouTube for a personal consumer. It's really good. And you can buy these individually. I'm sorry. You can buy the shade individually. I'm just saying. This has been a favorite four months, four months, four months, y'all. This is from a brand, Veil Cosmetics. You talk, I talked about it before with their complexion, complexion fix concealers i've used their foundation which is phenomenal and their primer well this is like i need to do a video of like products that people don't talk about you've never seen but are amazing this is called the automat y'all it's a primer that you can use under your foundation over your foundation you can touch up with it 
this is phenomenal for me because I get oily right here right around my nose and but I don't want to like mess up anything else all I do is put the auto mat on my finger and it goes in and it mattifies that area and keeps my foundation in place oh my goodness now it does come with a brush but I tried, I mean a sponge. It comes with a sponge, but I don't particularly like it with the sponge. But I think that it would be good. When I say this blurs out your pores, y'all, now I've been using mine. So you're going to see like foundation and stuff. And it, it has that blue tint. But um, you can definitely like wipe it out and everything. This is one for my personal use, so I don't use this. But if I just had, just say if I start seeing like, I don't have a pore problem, but just say if I start, like my, my nose start getting shiny, my T-zone, I can take my finger and instead of powdering my face, I can go in with the auto mat. This is such a genius product. P more people can, needs to talk about this. This, um, it, it has an expir expiration of nine months and you get 10 grams of product, 10 grams. It's amazing, and um, I should I do a vet dedicated video? Do you guys want to see this like in action using it under makeup, over makeup, um, touching up with makeup with this? Let me know. Um, I definitely could do that for you, but let me know. I want to talk about I love this brand in terms of the formulation. I have grown to love this color. I actually just I have it on my lips today, but I am almost finished with the Fenty Glow. This is in the shade Fussy. Y'all, this is so pretty on. Now, I feel like I need to reapply, but I, I mix these shades. Actually, you guys love uh, Max Spite. That's my like favorite lip gloss of all time. But y'all, Fussy is so beautiful. Now, I still have lip gloss on. That's the thing about it is um, I mix the two. So you it's they last pretty much a really, really long time, especially Max Spite. Um this is more of how this looks but i actually mixed it today and i'm gonna put on a little bit of fussy fussy gives me more of a gloss pink but i like the high high gloss juicy feel of this it is so pretty like i have on no liner this is like no nonsense glam when you just want to do up the eyes and you don't have to do too much to the lips at all just put a gloss on it it makes you look expensive these are expensive looking type of lip glosses. I love the formulation of both of these. And these are some of my favorite. Uh, Fenty, the Fussy, I have, this is like the first time I've ever used it. But the Fenty um, Glow is like my favorite lip gloss from Fenty so far. I know she just came out some with some more during the holiday collection. I, wanted, I do want to pick those up. But this combo is like my favorite. And um, I'm definitely going to be using Fenty fussy more because I really like how it looks on my lips so two palettes let's talk about this one first Natasha Denona this is the sunrise palette y'all I decluttered some palettes because of this palette the smoothness of her mattes I get it I get it kinky I get a kinky sweat she loves some Natasha Nadona so does Tati and um so does a lot of other youtubers that I watch but this is like I'm getting the Metropolis palette, but just the color story in this, I love. And Natasha Denona is really known for um, allowing, she actually, the placement of the shadows are usually in quads. So it takes out the hard work of you trying to figure out what to put on your eyes. That's one of the things that I really love about her. She has an amazing mirror, which is a deal breaker for me, in the palette and I really like the compactness of this palette so I really do enjoy this what I have on my eyes you guys because I mean most of you guys probably already know is the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette this is amazing I have a review on it already but let's talk about some things that I did not talk about in the review okay so price point $48 y'all already know that the launch has already happened hello she probably sold out I don't know because the launch is tomorrow which lets you know when I'm filming this video but you guys you guys you guys you guys Linda Linda listen listen Tachi did it with this palette. The color story, I have not seen it before. The amazing mirror. 
this girl paid some money for this mirror she fought for this mirror because let me tell you something this mirror you can see your whole face in and there are not so many brands that put a good quality mirror you do have some brands natasha denona you're paying for the price of packaging but a big part of a palette you guys not only in formulation is the mirror okay getting a good mirror this one takes up the full face of one side which i love okay stop making excuses and putting labels up there and saying oh this is my signature and putting something put a mirror in your palette i promise you you probably will up in sales i have decluttered all of my color pop um palettes except the makeup shayla because she's the only one that i have purchased that actually has a mirror and she put that in her review she was like a, a mirror is a deal breaker and i was like yes girl and I ended up getting her palette. I still love it. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. But y'all, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. That's all I think about when I open up this. Really, Tati, you should have had like um, Sierra. When you open it, you have you seen one of those cards? When you open it, it goes level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. Oh, my tongue's so yummy. Yeah this is a level up palette why because you can go from matte to sequin to metallic to glitter it is amazing i don't want to blind you with the mirror so i'm going to insert and show you guys these i do have full swatches so you guys can see the amazingness of these palettes of this palette i love it so much sequins is still my favorite row um i put it under the glitter but um just to let you guys know too these shadows last all day I, I do have on a primer today just for the adhesiveness of the of the for the glitter but these I have on mattes I have on the metallic I have on sequin I try to use every single one in this look but you guys worked it out yes you told me what to pick what shades what textures so thank you so much for the glam today fam because the tribe is live and y'all just made me look so fly today I'm loving it. I don't want to take it off. Tati, you did an amazing job. I'm just saying, girl, I can, congratulations. Congratulations. I can say so much about this palette. Dipping into two different, to three different palettes. Y'all, thank me later after you get it. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Guys, let's talk about Netflix, okay? We did not forget about Netflix. I am loving, why y'all didn't tell me? In terms of movies, I have rented John Wick. Oh! <gasps> I have seen the lot, okay? If you like, okay, if you don't like blood, if you don't like uh, Call of Duty, those type of things. If you don't like the, it's like the Matrix meets like 300 to me. <laughs> it's, it, it's a lot going on. It's a lot of action. I like it. I, lo I love John Wick. Keanu Reeves. Dude, you did the thing. I really love John Wick. One, two, three. Yes. And Halle Berry, you did your thing in three, okay, with the dogs. Love it. Um, okay. Oh, my southern accent is coming out a little bit more. What series am I liking? Oh, why haven't you guys told me about Outlander? Okay, this is from Amazon Prime, but it's also on Netflix. But you can see all of the seasons of Outlander. It's on Stars. I really like it. It's about a woman who actually travels back in time from her like from 1947 or 1946 one of those I want to say 1947 and she goes to 17 is it 1747 or 1776 something like that but anyway she travels back um and she's married in 1947 but in 1967 she meets a man y'all and she's like I'm never gonna see him again and everything she was you know so she ends up finding love again. Then she goes back. You know, she ends up going back to 19. I mean, 19. It, it, it Y'all, it's a good. It. Oh, my goodness. The Outlander is so good. Oh. Anyway, it's Scotland. I really do like uh, time pieces like that. And I also have been loving power. I got caught up on power, y'all. Does anybody like Tommy? He crazy, but I like Tommy. I like Tommy. He yeah, he real crazy. Um, Tasha be holding it down. Um, Tariq, I don't know what's going on with him. And Ghost, 
goes need to go goes guys uh, that is it for my favorites of the month i hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below let me know something that you have been loving this october okay and i hope to see you guys in the next video peace love you bye